Thing. Last night was my first show for C to C, and when I was sitting on the stage, just looking out at all of these people in the Netherlands, that like my music took me there and here and everywhere else. I feel just really grateful to be a part of it. It's really kind of made me a little emotional last night. I was like, God, this is just crazy. It's really cool. We are joined here at day two at C2C Festival by Carly Scott Collins. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. How's Europe been treating you so far? It's been really amazing. I think today it finally set in that I'm actually here when we were driving to the venue from the airport. It's really cool to be here. <laughs> so are there any things that you like in particular about Germany or the German fans? Well, okay, so... This was the first time in my life that there were fans waiting outside the airport when I got there. And it was really, really cool. That was crazy. So, yeah, the German fans are amazing. And then out here, they're like, you know, they have pictures for you to sign. They seem really excited. So that's awesome. And Germany so far is beautiful. It's so pretty. There's like the wildflowers everywhere. It's beautiful. I love it. That's pretty cool. Okay, so um, you're actually playing here as part of Introducing Nashville. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that, what the fans can look forward to when it comes to that show? Yeah, so Introducing Nashville is kind of like bringing what a Nashville writer's round is like to all of the other countries. So it'll be me, Lauren Watkins, and Connor Smith, and we'll each play just us and our guitars, some songs that we've written, taking turns and kind of telling the stories behind them. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do, so I'm excited. So just a few weeks ago, you've released your song Marlboro Reds. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit what that song is about? Yeah, Marlboro Reds is about my grandmother, who I call my nana, um, and about how when I was growing up, we would sit on the front steps and she would take her smoke break and smoke her Marlboro Reds and t tell me all about her life and all three husbands and, <laughs> and everything else. And so I just, you know, I figured she'd be a good one to write a song about. So it's a lot of fun and she, she loves it. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So is it true that your dad used to play you metal songs when he was driving you to school? It is. It is very true. Yes. Yep. My dad would play like a lot of Alice in Chains, um, listen to Guns N' Roses, some Pantera. Um, I think maybe I'm a bigger metal fan now, actually. <laughs> That's probably my favorite genre besides country. Metal. That's pretty cool. So how would you say does that influence, that metal influence reflect in your own music and your own sound now? A lot, I think, especially with some of the new music I've been in the studio lately. And um, there's a little bit more of a rock edge to it. I just I love a good guitar, you know, um, and I try to bring it into my vocals a little bit too. have a little bit of that rasp and edge. So, yeah, I try to bring it in there if I can. <laughs> So would you ever consider doing a full-on metal album or something like that? I don't know about me a metal album. Not, I don't know how much my voice would fit it, but I would definitely do a rock album for sure. Yeah, That's maybe great. like some cool rock covers or something. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what is it like for you to play at this festival, or all the C2C festivals, and get to meet all these people that you probably know from Nashville as well, yeah. uh, as well um, outside of the U.S.? It's been really amazing. Last night was my first show for C to C, and when I was sitting on the stage, just looking out at all of these people in the Netherlands, that like my music took me there and here and everywhere else. I feel just really grateful to be a part of it. It's really kind of made me a little emotional last night. I was like, God, this is just crazy. It's really cool. Um, and I mean, yeah, having people you know here is cool too. You know, because of course everything else is new. I'm like, I don't know what we're eating. I don't know what we're saying. <laughs> But it's good, yeah. So is there any show in particular from one of your friends or the other artists that you look forward to? Yeah, well, so I'm, I just did this CMT Next Women of Country, and Colby Calais cool. was one of the mentors for it, and I just ran into her backstage, and I think she's playing around 5.30 or something, so I'm, I'm hoping to catch her show for sure. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, so thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah.